This is the third section on parametric equations and this is about curve sketching. Now if you've got a graphic calculator it's very easy to do this. You can actually set your calculator up in parametric mode, type in the functions, it will draw the graph for you on the screen within seconds um, and there you go. You just copy it if you need to sketch a curve. Otherwise if you've just got the FX 991EX, the class risk calculator. There's still a straightforward uh, way to do it, and that's to use the table function to generate lots of values at once rather than having to type things in uh, lots of times. So, uh, just as a reminder, what you would do is you would press the menu button, which is at the top. When you've pressed the menu button, you want 9, that's table. And then you'll see that it gives you f of x to type in, and you can also type in g of x. Now, when you type this in, um, what you need to do is you basically need to uh, imagine that x is the t parameter, yeah, because you haven't got an option to type in t. So you would just type it in as if it were um, uh, x, yeah, or t as it as it was it uh, as an x. So here's an example here. So if I was doing this on the calculator, um, as I said, you would press the menu, and then I think I said um, nine, which is table. And the way that you would type this one in, you'll see on the screen it will come up fx. So you then type in 3 cos 3 cos x rather than t. Now there's a little white x button that's underneath the on button. That's just a, a, a quick way of having to, to put the X in, plus four. Then when you press equals, it will then prompt you to type in a second function, G of X, and then you will type in two sine X. Now when you've done that, it'll ask for a starting value. So you'll start from zero, it'll ask for an N value, and here we're going up to 2 pi and it will ask you how much you want to step up in now in the book they go up by pi over 4 so you can just type in pi over 4 or pi divided by 4 and then your answers will come up the numbers that you're looking for will come up in columns like this yeah so you'll have f of x all the values of f of x there all the values of g of x here and this will say x in that column so basically your x is like your t and this will be your 3 cos t plus 4 and this column will be your 2 sine t so that's how you would do something like that and you do the same thing here uh, you would type in that f of x, so once you've done menu and 9, f of x you would type in, you would do 2x, remember you're doing x instead of t. When it prompts you for g of x, you would type in x and then squared, press the x squared button to get that. Um, in this case, you will start at negative 1. We're going to end at 5. And in the book, they go up in ones, so our step will go up in ones as well. So that's the way that I would do that question. Obviously, if you've got a graphics calculator, you can just type them in um, and it will plot the graph for you. So you should now be able to do exercise 8C on pages 206 to 207.